Hello and welcome. This is V from the Top. I'm Modele Sharafai. So thank you for tuning in today. I'd like to start today's program with a couple of quotes. The first is from the chairman of Hairs Holdings, Mr. Tony Elumelu, who once said, and I quote, we must encourage government to see the relationship between the success of entrepreneurs and the country's economic well-being and growth. If entrepreneurs don't do well, we all fail. End of quote. Agreeing with him in a separate write-up, a former chairman of the Nigerian Economic Summit Group, Mazi Sam Ohuabongwa, went further to say, investments create enterprises and enterprises create jobs, which means that if we need jobs, we must promote investment and to do so, we must remove all uncertainties, end of quote. Mr. Ohua Bonwa has been described as an entrepreneur who practices and preaches entrepreneurship. He has been involved in the founding of several, almost 20 or more companies, spanning the pharmaceutical, medical, manufacturing, agriculture, food, logistics, telecommunications, construction, oil services, financial services, and consulting services. He serves on the boards of many companies. He uses the auspices of the Sam Ohua Bonwa Foundation for economic empowerment to teach entrepreneurship and mentor young entrepreneurs. He joins me on view from the top today and I want to thank him very much. Thank you very much, Mazi, for thank having you. me. Thank you, Madele, for inviting me. And I thank you for tuning in again. Here's a brief biography of my guest before our conversation. Born on August 17, 1950, Sam Ohua received an honors degree in pharmacy from the then University of Ife and got additional executive management training from the Columbia University in the US and the Lagos Business School. He worked at Pfizer West Africa and became chairman CEO in 1993. He served in that capacity for 18 years and retired in 2011, by which time the company had transformed into Namath International Pharmaceuticals PLC. He was at different times President Nigeria Employers Consultative Association President West African Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association and the Chairman Nigeria Economic Summit Group. He is a fellow of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, the West African Postgraduate College of Pharmacists, the Nigerian Institute of Management, the Nigerian Institute of Quality Assurance, and the Institute of Management Consultants, among others. He is a member of the Order of the Niger and Officer of the Federal Republic. Your foundation works with entrepreneurs. Why is this kind of work uh, critical to national development at, at this time? And how important is entrepreneurship, not just for firms, but for, for the economy as a whole? Well, you do know that every economy uh, is measured uh, on several grounds. First is the amount of jobs that the economy is creating. And presidents and prime ministers lose their position based on the amount of jobs they create. Two, an economy is measured by the output, which is the gross productivity of the environment, at least these two dimensions. And entrepreneurship is the basis for creating enterprises. And these enterprises then create jobs. So if entrepreneurship creates jobs, then if you're looking for how to take people out of the streets, get people and fully employed, then you need to look at entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship creates enterprises, and enterprises create jobs. Jobs create wealth. Wealth drives away poverty. Now, if you want to deal with poverty, which is also a measure of the economic well-being, then we need people who can create that productivity. And that's entrepreneurs who create enterprises that create jobs, that create wealth, and then make the society a good place to live in. Are entrepreneurs born or made? Well, I think they are made. Uh, I do know that some people have some entrepreneurial predisposition, but they remain dormant until they are put into practice. Uh, but I believe that you can train people um, to become entrepreneurs. Uh, because what is essential entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship 
is essentially the ability to put together resources that will help solve problems, that will help fill needs, or that will help create value. One of the things that must be uh, cleared is that doing a job doesn't necessarily make you an entrepreneur. You know, it is the ability to put resources, ability to garner different resources, pull them together, and use them to create uh, opportunities to solve problems, fill needs, and create value. So I believe that largely entrepreneurs are made. So it's not necessarily innate? It's not essentially innate. I, I believe there is some element. You know, what I'm trying to make is that it's not in the DNA. It's something that you can acquire, either through uh, association, through education, through apprenticeship, uh, through exposure, through mentoring. So, largely, it, 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 it's, a, it's something you can acquire so people can make you. Uh, Do founders necessarily make good executives? Not necessarily, because you have two different skills. Skill of founding, you know, entrepreneurship, um, there's the skill of being bold, uh, the skill of willing to take a chance. Uh, because you have your sight, uh, the twin sight of solving problem and creating value. But uh, executives or managers do not, are not necessarily risk takers because risk taking is a major dimension of entrepreneurship. Um, but managers are people who work towards attaining specific objectives, who are a 